Well, right now we have two very special nine-year-olds watching us, and today happens to be their birthday. And they also happen to be my daughters. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Today is my twin girls, Lola and Mary. There they are as little tiny babies with my son Griffin. Uh, they turned nine today and they weren't too happy about me going off to work. So I figured maybe if I gave them a little shout out, there's Mary. And, and Lola. And there's Lola. Well, you did spend some time with them earlier today at one of their yes. favorite restaurants, so yes, that we made went, them happy, I'm sure. We went out to lunch, we hung out, and we have a party planned for them tomorrow, so we'll get to celebrate. But I can't believe we're halfway through their childhood, right? My Nine, half of 18. They're wonderful girls, they're smart, they're kind, and they make me proud every day. Oh, look at you. That's I so I nice. I love them so much. So Hi, girls. Party tomorrow um, at the house. <laughs> at it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, lots of nine year olds. It yeah. sounds like a great time. <laughs> yeah. Marquina, party. what's it going to be like? I think part of the party's outside. So. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. a pool party in November. Can you believe it? I can. <laughs> We're in Southern California. Are you kidding? Absolutely. Have fun. It's going to be great. And the good thing about tomorrow, Christine, is that it's not going to be as windy as what we've seen over the past couple of days. So enjoy the party. That is for sure. Look at what I have here. See that this is meant to be. The weekend is going to be fabulous. It's going to be fabulous. We've got onshore winds coming our way as we head toward next week. The beginning of next week, temperatures will start to drop. As you take a look at what's going on over the next several days here, you can see that a big change will happen just in time for Monday, Tuesday and beyond. So as we talk about tomorrow, what you need to know is this temperatures are going to be slightly uh, above average for some, some will be right at average. Again, a really nice day, lots of sunshine, 70 for the folks in West Hollywood. In Upland, you're looking at temperatures in the low 70s as well. Northridge, 74 for you tomorrow. The folks in Encino will be at 72. Comparing those numbers to 24 hours ago, or at least the current numbers, we're cooler. Juan talked about it earlier in the newscast. It's going to be a chilly night. Look at how much cooler we're going to be, or we are, compared to this time yesterday. We're down by 12 in Ontario. We're 15 degrees cooler in parts of Ventura County. And you go to parts of the valleys, they are feeling a difference as well. Down by 9 in Van Nuys, while the folks in Burbank are cooler by 5 degrees. So the reason this pattern shift is happening is because we have an area of low pressure to the north here. That is going to slide down. We will get very little, if any, precipitation from this system. But what it will do is cool us down. Uh, we'll watch out for the possibility of some rain as we get into Thursday. But right now, at least, it looks like most will stay dry. L.A. and Orange County, 71 degrees for Saturday and Sunday for you. 63 on Monday, 65 as we get into Tuesday. Again, we're talking about 60s as we see that area of low pressure come our way. Way. For the valleys, you're in the low 70s for this weekend, mid 60s as we get into Monday and Tuesday, upper 60s on Wednesday. So with this area of low pressure, you are looking at it, it, literally temperatures get to below normal as we head toward Monday and basically staying there for the rest of the week. Overnight lows, as you can see, will fall into the low 40s for the IE 80 degrees tomorrow and Sunday. And even on Monday, you start to really cool down as we head toward Thursday by the end of the week with temperatures there in the low 60. So that is a look at what we're doing. Enjoy the party tomorrow. Back to you. Get CBS News Los Angeles on the CBS News app. Download now. Got your phone handy? Of course you do. Scan this right here. Download the CBS LA app. And just like that, you're connected to all the best local news and videos. Now, if only everything were this easy.